this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, I am gonna... What's... what's going on here? What's... what's happening? Where are these... Wait a minute. Squishy! Squishy! Look, okay, I know you like chickens, okay, but I'm not a chicken. You can't throw seeds. Oh, were you throwing seeds at Esther? Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> I guess every morning I do have my cake for breakfast, and I do not even think uh, about giving uh, uh, Esther any breakfast. So there you go. You can have these uh, these seeds and uh, a bit of pumpkin pie as well. I don't know. Maybe you should eat that slowly. It's quite a, a big <laughs> a big pie for a, a very small chicken. Anyway, I am not only going to be joined by Squishy, I am also going to be joined by Viva Dash. <laughs> I saw you there peeking into my my bedroom through the other uh, doorway. Good morning, Beaver Dash. And for breakfast, you can have an egg. Uh, Beaver Dash, come back. There we go. There's uh, an egg. You can have that for breakfast. Uh, it's raw at the moment, but you can uh, do what you want. Um, don't don't you want the egg? I gave it especially for you. Nope. Okay. <laughs> no eggs for Viva Dash then. All uh, right then. Uh, let's go and uh, have my breakfast then. So, oh, Barnaby, are you gonna have your breakfast? Well, actually, I think I do. Yep. I do have uh, some pork chops uh, down here. You can go and uh, uh, and eat them. And don't be sasquatchy. It's okay. You got your pumpkin pies. Look, you got these pumpkin pies. You can have them for breakfast. There we go. I'm making sure everyone's well fed in my lovely world this morning. And I am, of course, going to have my cake. <gasps> yum 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 yum. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't know why I ate that last slice. Yeah, it tastes like smelly feet. Yeah, oh, it's all, all cheesy and smelly and sticky. Blah. I am definitely not going to make a cake in that same way anymore. Yes, Gracie, I think I'm going to have the pumpkin pie instead. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll save the uh, the seeds for later. I'll tell you what. <laughs> right then, uh, let's go and uh, head over to the uh, the love garden. And something very exciting has happened uh, in my uh, in my love garden today. And uh, you should immediately be able to see uh, what it is. Look at this. Look at my love garden. It's done. It's finished. It's completely full up. My love garden is filled to the brim. <laughs> but don't panic. Don't worry. This does not mean uh, that it's the uh, the end of the love garden. As you can see, there's plenty of room back here. So all I'm going to do uh, is just extend it and uh, carry on adding people. But yeah, it's still quite exciting that I started the uh, the love garden so long ago. And it's now finally filled up. Uh, but only for now. Uh, anyway, uh, the uh, the person I'm adding to the, uh, the love garden... T Barnaby. Ba excuse Barnaby. I was... There we go. No, just back a tiny bit more. No, a little bit more. A little bit more. That's it, Barnaby. Now I can uh, read the sign. <laughs> Today to the Love Garden, I am adding a uh, Clayton Tuggle. And that's because he made my face out of light bulbs. You can see here, uh, he got a bunch of different colored light bulbs and uh, he decorated them uh, so it looks like my Stumpy Cat face. And I think it looks absolutely awesome. So I wanted to say uh, thank you very much for uh, making that and uh, sending me the, uh, the picture, Clayton. And welcome to my Love Garden. Uh, right then. Uh, the uh, the next thing I need to do is uh, go to the uh, the love garden, another uh, love garden, sorry, to the uh, the dog house, uh, just so I can go and uh, drop off Barnaby, uh, and then I can go and uh, pick another dog, uh, which I'm going to be taking with me in today's episode. So uh, we can go inside of here. Nope, oh, <laughs> looks like Squishy's been here already, uh, making sure all of the uh, the dogs have had their their breakfast. And oh, careful, Barnaby, <laughs> diving down there. Right, who shall I have with me today? Let's uh, take. How about we have Benji with us? today. Where's Benji? Is Benji up here? Nope. Where? Where is Benji? He's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, oh no, that's not Benji. That's Flippy. Benji! Benji, here you are. You can uh, come and uh, you can join us for uh, today's episode. And it's a very exciting day today because we are beginning to build a brand new minigame uh, in my fun land. And oh, oh, I forgot something. I forgot something very important. I had a, a shopping list. I needed to get some eggs. And that's because in today's, uh, um, a video we're going to be doing a mini game uh, which is going to involve chickens and I had two options uh, one option uh, was to try and um, uh, get a load of chickens and bring them all the way to the the fun land the other option is just to grab some eggs and throw them down and get chickens that way so yeah I decided to do the the easy option so uh, now I've got the these eggs I can take them to the uh, the fun land and uh, what we need to do 
is uh, yeah, we need to throw these down to, to get the chickens. And uh, while I'm on the uh, the way there, I'm going to explain how this uh, this game uh, is going to, to work. So the idea is, is there's going to be a, kind of like a big box. And uh, inside of the box, there's going to be two trails of different coloured wool. Uh, one side is going to be red wool, and then the other side is going to be yellow wool. And then there's going to be a glass ceiling. And then the uh, the players are going to be on top of the, uh, the glass, and then they're going to be moving the chickens with leads that actually go through the glass. So you're not actually going to be able to, to touch the chickens, you're going to be looking through the, the floor and guiding them. And what you need to do is you need to make your chicken walk across the uh, the line of your colour. And uh, on the, the line, there's also going to be redstone lamps and pressure plates. And every time the uh, the chicken uh, goes over one of the uh, the pressure plates, it's going to light up one of the uh, the redstone lamps. And then the, the aim of the game is to guide your chicken uh, so it goes across your entire line. And the first person to get all of their lights uh, lit up uh, is going to, to be the, the winner. So it's... um. It's a pretty simple game. All you really need to do is uh, hold tight to your, your lead and uh, walk around and try and guide the uh, the chicken. The difficulty is that both trails are going to be right next to each other. So you can uh, accidentally uh, light up the uh, the other person's trails. And then the uh, the chickens can sometimes move a little bit unpredictably. <laughs> and they can sometimes uh, yeah go on the other person's lights or get in the uh, the other chicken's ways. And uh, yeah, it can get uh, probably a little bit crazy. So uh, this is where we're uh, going to, to be building. And we're going to be building out of chicken colors if that makes sense <laughs> we've got uh, some white and uh, we got some uh, some yellow and we got some red but i think uh, the first thing i want to do is i want to go and try and get my chicken so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make uh, some fence poles and i've got a couple leads and oh i'm throwing my fence poles all over the uh, the floor uh, so yeah i'm going to go and uh, put a couple of these down and uh, then we can go and try and spawn in our chickens and then that way hopefully by the uh, the end of the episode uh, they would have uh, have grown up uh, and then that way we can go and play with them. And oh, I'm making a complete mess. So let me just throw down uh, these eggs for now. And uh, what I want to do is just make uh, a chest uh, just so we can go and uh, store all of our things in. Uh, because, yeah, my pockets are, are getting very full right now. So let's go and put that down here. And, uh, yeah, first things first, uh, let's see if we can go and uh, try and get uh, some of uh, of these chickens. So I've got a, uh, a whole bunch of eggs here. Uh, let's throw them down and let's see if I get lucky. I'm not sure whether you can put uh, baby chickens on leads. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully you can. And come on, please get some chickens. I took so many eggs. Please get some chickens. Right, I still got uh, quite a, a few more eggs. And uh, sometimes you do get uh, a whole bunch of chickens at the uh, the same time. I don't think uh, throwing them uh, higher in the air makes it any easier. Um, but we give it a go. We give it a go. Let's just throw them all up. And do we have any chickens? No, we're not getting very lucky. Right then. Uh, Squashy, would you like a super secret mission to go and collect some chickens? <laughs> you know my uh, ugly duck fling game? There should be some chickens in there. If you go and grab these leads, if you try and bring a, a couple of chickens over here and then just tie them up in the, the leads, uh, while you're doing that, uh, me and Viva Dash can go and begin building. So uh, what we're going to do as a kind of a, a checkered pattern. So the, the bottom is going to be a, a mixture of, uh, of white and red wool. So we just need to go along like this and uh, alternate like this. And then it's going to be the uh, the same pattern above this. And then there's going to be another two rows. Uh, but instead of being red and white, uh, it's going to be yellow and white. So it's kind of just chickeny colours. And then also the uh, the two trails are going to be red and uh, and white as well. No, red and uh, yellow as well, sorry, uh, for the two different coloured teams. So it's all kind of just uh, the different colours uh, that you find uh, on a chicken so we're going to build this up a little bit and then we're going to go do the uh, the yellow bit and then i'm going to go into the the middle and uh, build the the actual trails and they're very twisty and very turny but the uh, the challenge was when i was uh, coming up with the uh, the design uh, was to make sure that it's exactly fair so uh, there's the exact same amount of uh, of blocks uh, in each trail uh, just to make sure that one person doesn't have uh, an advantage over the uh, the other person so uh, i've almost just filled in the uh, the bottom row as you can get a good idea of just uh, how big the uh, the game is. If I build along to here, and then here, and then here. There we go. <laughs> I always get a little bit scared uh, that it's not going to, to match up perfectly. Because if that uh, didn't line up, then it means it would have been wrong and I'd had to uh, start it again. But luckily, uh, it's all fine. So uh, we can go around here and uh, just fill in all of the uh, the rest of the, the red area. And then on top of here is going to be yellow and white. So uh, we just need to add the, the yellow uh, on top of where the, the red is, uh, like this. And let me just grab my shield so I can get rid of this. Uh, yeah, so we just need to go and uh, do the uh, the colours. So yeah, the white needs to go on 
where the the red is uh, like this and then we just need to go uh, on top of that and uh, just add all of the uh, the yellow in and uh, then we just do one more row and then that is the uh, yeah that's the the outside walls of the the game done so uh, I'm gonna go to about uh, here and then I'm gonna go and start adding in the uh, the yellow like this and yeah you can get a good idea uh, what the uh, the game's going to, to look like so I tell you what Viva Dash if you go and carry on just doing the uh, the final couple rows of this wall uh, I'm gonna go inside and start building the the actual game so uh, first thing uh, let me go and try and do the uh, the entrance then shall I so I need to try and find the exact middle so let me see if I can do what I normally do and try and guess and get lucky I think about there do you think that looks like the uh, the middle? Uh, let me go and step back a little bit. I think it might be. Uh, let me just double check and make sure. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 on that side. Uh, so hopefully there's 11 on this side as well. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Look at that. I am amazing. I'm always happy when <laughs> I'm able to, to guess that right. Uh, so yeah, uh, now let's go and uh, just carry on the, the pattern here. So if I go uh, like this, this is basically going to be just like a... um. Uh, like a little entrance way basically so I need to do white there and red there white there and red there and then there's going to be a ladder in the uh, the middle here uh, which is going to to lead up to the the roof so let me just go and uh, make a, a little ladder now I need uh, I think I need four of these yeah because of the uh, it goes four high uh, so let me just go and make uh, a few more of these and uh, go and throw these down uh, so yeah this is going to be uh, how you get uh, to the the game because you never actually go inside of the the game the only things that go inside the game are the uh, the chickens themselves we only uh, ever watch from the uh, the top and oh squishy's returned squishy's returned with chickens <laughs> jolly good well done squishy right if you go and uh, tie them up with the uh, the fence poles and uh, yeah then you can go and uh, give us a, a hand uh, building but good job squishy very well done indeed so uh, let me just go and fill this bit up here because uh, this is where the uh, the ladder is going to go so that needs to be like this and uh, this is going to to lead to the uh, the actual entrance of where you uh, play the game uh, but what i'm going to do now is uh, in the uh, the middle here i'm going to go and start filling in uh, where the the actual trails are, are going to to be so this is going to be the the red trail and i need to go in this direction one two three four five six seven uh, like this and then I just need to go uh, three across here and then the way this is going to work is there's always just going to be a gap of one uh, in between uh, the um, uh, the two trails so the the yellow trail is going to be right next to it here and then there's just going to be a gap of one in the the middle and then all of the other uh, gaps are just going to be filled up with yellow wool so the uh, the entire game is just literally going to be red uh, yellow and white wool so now I just need to go and double back on myself and uh, we're going to go all the way to, to where the the wall is here and uh, going for the oh no I don't think uh, I've done it right nope uh, I needed to, to do this trail uh, here like this and then this is going to go here and then once again uh, there's going to be a, a gap uh, of one block uh, in between here uh, I'm now I'm going to go all the way over to this back wall uh, here once again just leaving a, a gap of one uh, which is where the uh, the white wall's going to, to be and uh, this uh, needs to be white wall here as well and then this is going to go and loop around the back all the way to the, the back wall and then in the, the middle here uh, is going to be where the the yellow wall is going to be and that's going to be kind of looping around on itself as well so let's go and uh, build this back to here and then i can go and start doing a little bit of the the yellow trowel actually seeing as it's uh, becoming night time it's probably going to be a good uh, good idea to to go to sleep so let me go and uh, just climb up here and uh, let's all just go to, to bed quickly. And oh, there's a sign over here. Uh, Simon and Perry. That is that is the uh, the names of the uh, the chickens, <laughs> uh, according to, to Squishy. Right, Simon and Perry are going to be the two uh, resident chickens. Uh, they're going to be living inside of the uh, the game. And oh, I've not actually said the, the name of the game yet, have I? I've decided to, to name the game Chicken Trail. Uh, just because uh, you are guiding the uh, the chickens uh, along the uh, the trail. It just seemed like a fitting name. And oh, uh, you can come and uh, join me as well. You don't need to to stay sitting down there Benji all right then uh, let's go climb up here and I'm now going to go and do a little bit of the the yellow trail so this one should be quite simple because uh, all I need to do is follow around where the the red trail is uh, but just leave a, uh, a gap of one so it's going to go down here like this and then back like this and then across the uh, the other way uh, like this here so let me go and uh, start filling uh, all of this uh, in with a uh, yellow wool 
uh, like this and loop it around to here and then this is going to go uh, back down this way and then around the the other side so uh, you're getting a good idea uh, just how close these trails are going to be and just how turny and windy they're <laughs> uh, they're going to, to be the the entire time so then uh, this red one is going to go really far uh, the uh, the whole way down here uh, so let me just go and fill all of this in with red wool and then the uh, the yellow one uh, is going to to be right uh, the way next to it and uh, yeah if you guys go and uh, start filling in the the white wall uh, basically any gaps uh, in between my two trails uh, are just going to to be white wall so this one is going to go and loop all the way around to, to here uh, just like this and then this one is going to go down uh, next to where this yellow trail here was so this is going to uh, loop around and kind of go right back uh, to almost where the uh, the game started uh, this is going to, to be yellow wall and then it's just got a couple more turns and then we're going to be at the the end and then at the very end of the game uh, there's going to be two little staircases and it's surprising I was doing a little bit of experimenting but if you get a, a staircase and oh Hello. <laughs> if you get a, a staircase and uh, put a chicken next to it, the chicken almost always just runs straight up the, the staircase. And apparently, chickens love going up staircases. So <laughs> uh, up here, there's going to be two. Well, they're not real staircases because they're not going to be with stairs, but it's just going to be kind of uh, blocks built up like this. And then the uh, the chickens will climb out. And then uh, it doesn't matter about the first uh, person to have the, the chicken out because it's just the uh, the first person to get the, the lights lit. Uh, but that's just basically how you reset the game. You guide the chickens up there. You bring them back over here then there's going to be two trap doors and then when you switch the uh, the trap doors the uh, the chickens fall down and that's how the the game starts so i've almost uh, finished this uh, this trail actually so this red one uh, needs to come around here like this and then go down uh, this way here uh, and then it just needs to, to double back round on itself and then it should end up right next to where the the yellow one is and so if my calculations are correct and hopefully they are these trails should be the exact same length and both be 64 uh, blocks along so that's 50, uh, 64 blocks uh, you need to, to make your chicken walk along so let's go and uh, fill in this uh, final stretch and then the last thing we're going to do today uh, before we can have a little test to go is to add in the the glass so we just need to add in the the glass uh, just so we can uh, walk around on the uh, on the top so uh, let me go and uh, just fill in this uh, last final staircase and then I'm going to go up to the uh, the top and uh, start placing down all of the the glass so the glass isn't going to be on the, the very top. It's going to be slightly lower down uh, on this level here, around here. So we just need to make sure uh, that we leave a, uh, a little opening here uh, just so the uh, the chickens uh, can make their, their way to the, the top. If I fill in here and then I leave a gap of uh, I leave a gap of, of two uh, just so it's not too close. I don't want the, the chickens banging their head on the, the way up. So I can fill the uh, the middle in here and then just go around here like this. And oops, sorry, Squishy, I kind of trapped you in a little bit there. Oh, she fell down a hole. <laughs> right, let's just go and fill in the... The, uh, the whole thing with glass and there we go you can see what the the pattern looks like I love how twirly and winding it looks like I think this uh, uh does look pretty cool so all we need to do now as I go and fill in all of this uh, this glass and uh, then I'm going to go and add in the uh, the trap door uh, as well as the um, uh, a couple fence poles as well uh, which uh, is just going to be there to hold um, was it Simon and Perry <laughs> in uh, position and uh, yeah then we can go and uh, have ourselves a little bit of a, a tester game so of course uh, the game isn't going to work properly yet uh, because we still need to go uh, and add in all of the uh, the redstone lights uh, as well as the uh, the pressure plates but we can still uh, just have ourselves a little bit of a, a test to go and uh, see whether we can guide the uh, the chickens Round. So uh, yeah, Beaver Dash and Squishy, uh, if you want to, to lend me uh, a hand and uh, just try and fill in the, the rest of the glass. Uh, while they're doing that, I'm going to go and uh, add in the uh, the trap doors, which are going to have to be uh, just uh, kind of here uh, next to where this ladder is. So uh, let me go down here. Uh, back to the the crafting table and I'm going to use uh, iron trap doors uh, just so then that way uh, no one accidentally uh, switches them so I should have iron on me yes I do uh, so let's go and make myself uh, an iron trap door which I think should be around here there we go uh, so I need two of these and then I also uh, need to do some levers as well and I don't uh, actually have any cobblestone on me so let me just go and hop this way and uh, go and grab some uh, of uh, this cobblestone from over here is there any stone around here let me just dig for a little bit there we go and uh, let me just go and grab uh, a little bit of this I only need um I really only need one block actually because I only need uh, one lever because uh, if I put the, the lever directly uh, in between the, the two pressure plates uh, then that way uh, when you switch it uh, both are going to drop at the exact same time so that way uh, it should be a, a completely uh, fair start and has all my glass gone? Did I use up all my glass? That ran out really quickly. Uh, hopefully, uh, Squashy and uh, Viva Dash have uh, plenty of glass on them as well. And whoa, looks like they do. It's pretty much entirely filled in. <laughs> I went and made two trap doors and a lever, and they have completely finished building the glass. Very good Minecraft helpers. So uh, let's go and... Uh, oh, 
Good, good timing, Squishy. You nearly uh, lost these ladders. <laughs> uh, this uh, actually needs, uh, yeah, that needs to be filled in there, Squishy, that gap. But then there needs to be a hole uh, here and then uh, here as well. Squishy, if you step back just one second, uh, there needs to be a gap there. And actually, I think this should be a um, white wall there as well. I think I think the, the pattern has got a little bit messed up here somehow. Let's see where you can work this out. So that should be yellow there. Uh, and then, yeah, no, in the middle here, uh, this is where it should be yellow. And then uh, the uh, the whole pattern uh, should be back to the, the way it should be. And then I can go and add in the, the trapdoors and uh, we can have ourselves a little bit of a, a test to go. Let's go and put the, the white back down there. And then the trapdoor can be here and here. And then I can put my lever in the, the middle like this. And now... I just need to go and try and get Simon and Perry uh, up into where the, the game starts. I don't know uh, how easy this is uh, going to, to be, <laughs> uh, but let's give it a, a little bit of a, a go. Uh, Squashy, can you just go and uh, put down these fences uh, either side of the, the trap door? So I got somewhere to, to put them. And if I grab these leads, uh, let's see if there's going to be any way of actually getting them up. Um, we'll give it a go. Let's just try climbing the, the ladder and uh, see how this uh, this ends up. Let's see uh, how much they, they want to play the, the game today. Are they going to climb up? Are they going to climb the ladder if I kind of step back like this? Oh, look at that! Absolutely perfect. Straight up the uh, the ladder. <laughs> so let's just go and uh, tie them down here. And all uh, right, I believe we're ready to have a, a practice going up. All right, it looks like whoever's on the, the yellow trail is going to have a bit of a, a dog in their path, but that shouldn't matter anyway. <laughs> right, who wants to, to have a game against me then? Step forward. It looks like Squashy uh, wants to, to go first. Uh, so if you go and uh, grab one of these leads, and I'll grab the, the other one if you throw me one of them. And then, yeah, you can just grab whichever chicken you want, and then you just need to... Oh, no, 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 don't run away. Come back. Come back. Run away, chicken. <laughs> it's supposed to be chicken trail, not chicken run. Right, so if you put your chicken over one of the uh, the trap doors, Squashy, uh, I'll put mine uh, over one of the the others and so i guess you'll be on the the yellow side would make sense for you and i'll be on the the red side but the first challenge is to get the uh, the chickens in position right they are close enough in position so i'm gonna go and pull the the lever in order oh, no, squish you gotta get gotta get your chicken over here <laughs> This is going to be the uh, the first part of the, the game. Once they're there, they do kind of stand still. Uh, but yeah, they don't always want to, to go uh, straight there. If you just kind of nudge it round, if you just sort of step on the, the wall, it should follow you. There we go. We'll begin in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Right, I've pulled the, the lever. Let me just help Squashies go down. And so the aim of the game is to try and guide them along the track. But as you can probably see already, um, guiding them where you want them to go isn't the easiest thing in the, the world. So I'm trying to uh, make my chicken uh, go along the the red one so it seems to have finally paid a little bit of attention to me no oh, i fell down we didn't shut the the trap doors i've fallen into the game <laughs> i'm trapped under the game um yeah this hasn't been the the best test to go uh, but yeah you get a little bit of a, an idea of what the the game's going to be like so tell you what in the, the next episode, uh, we'll go and we'll add down all of the, the redstone lamps and the uh, the pressure plates. And I'm going to show you uh, how that's going to work and how they're all going to, to stay lit up. And uh, then we can go and have ourselves a, a proper game. But tell you what, Squishy, because you were able to stay up and not fall down, we'll call you the winner. <laughs> ah, dear. So sadly, we have just about run out of time in this episode here. Uh, we'll be finishing off the, the game in the, the next episode. And there'll be a link in the description to the next episode uh, once it's online. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!